Okay, starting live. Okay, wow. I think I'm live. Okay, now, I'm not sure, but I think I'm live here. I think I'm alive. I'm not dead. And um, I, I, I've never made a real live video before. I've done some little practice things. Oh, there's nobody watching me. I think if somebody watches me, it'll show up. I've never made a real live video before. I've done some little practice things. Oh, oh there's nobody watching. I gotta hush my. I, me, I gotta hush my up. phone. Just a minute. A real live video before. I've done some little practice things. Oh. Okay, I could turn the sound down on my phone. Okay, so there's the sound is down. But what I want to do is, I want to get just the chat. But it's not giving me. Oh, I wonder if I go. I wonder if I turn the phone this way. Huh. Four watching. It says there's four watching. Seven watching. Okay. But I want to. Okay, you guys, if there really is seven watching, then you guys are awesome. 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 But see, right now, I'm trying to see. If I can get the chat, because I can't see the, I can see a chat, and I can see where I said hi, but I don't see, okay, live chat. Oh, oh wait a minute. Things are moving right along here. Okay, now, I see I see um, Chelly Wilson. I see Franna Schult, Kayla Bell. Uh oh, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd y'all go? Wait a minute. I know you didn't go anywhere. Okay, now I want to see if I can. Oh, there it is. Now, if I can get this, just this chat to show on my phone, then I can see if it's really working. Now, because I can't see all the way to my my phone, I mean my computer, which is like, four feet away but I see that I got people I have peeps oh man this is exciting okay I've never done this before so this is like my first real chat and I'm gonna make some bracelets now this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gonna make some bracelets now see I've made these bohemian style bracelets but most of them that I made are like, like this. Like, oh, where's my camera? Oh, there it is. Like this. And, and these, you know, I first started watching. Um, good morning, Linda. Good morning, Becca. Amy, Kayla, Franna. Oh, my gosh, how exciting. And, but anyway... I first started making the beads, like these. I was inspired to make these beads from Stacy Evans, who has Pink Poodle Crafting. Pink Poodle Playground, Pink Poodle Crafts. That's who I initially started making these beads. That was the first thing. And then I was watching secret soto and she was making the bracelets and i said oh, i gotta have them too and so i have been making bracelets and um but then i started trying to get even more fancy i wanted to get more fancy with my bracelets so i started getting more fancy by putting beads on them a, like a big bead like a Focal a focal bead like right here, and um, and um, and so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm we're gonna I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna see. 
if if I can um, do them while I'm right here on national television. God, these things are beautiful. Is that not beautiful? And and see, then I I went from that to making some journal covers. I just made a video about these travel traveler journals covers that I made with just everything. And I put I put two of these Bojang. I just call them Bojangles. I think they're could be i think they should be called bojangles once because what it was a bead but then i put a lobster clasp at the top there and then i put i put um oh kayla makes kayla makes paper beads too cool kayla i'd like to see them now and then i put a charm at the bottom and so then that makes that's what makes it a bojangle in my opinion but anyhow, so I went to that. But in and, and so and it's just buffaloing from that. It's just going everywhere. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make I now I start with this copper wire because that's what I have. Now also I understand some people they go to um I Yes, I did get it working, Dawn. Thanks to Stacy Evans, the pink poodle crafter. Okay, now I I cut me a piece of wire larger than my wrist. I usually go about two inches larger than my wrist is. And so, but if I make them for somebody else, I'll make them two inches larger than their wrist. But what I first do is I get like a focal bead. And those are like bigger beads. Like this one is just awesome. It's It's got so many colors in it. I've had this like forever holding on to it for something special because because I just like special. And so I first put that bead on to my wire. Okay, that's going to live in the middle of my wire. Now I put that on first. Now some people say they got wire from from the Dollar Tree. You can get like different colors and stuff, but you're not going to see the wire at all. On the on the inside here, you won't see that wire once it's finished. So it really doesn't matter, you know what kind. I just make sure I have a wire that's that's good and bendable. Because even when the bracelet's finished, it'll still be like bendable. Hi, Edgewitch Hollow. Wait a minute, I remember. If she's got a real name, and I can't remember her real name. Tell me your real name, Hedgewitch Hollow, because I can't remember it because I'm a, i got to start writing myself notes. Okay, now, now in this box, I have just bead caps. So now, I think I want to put a bead cap, and I think I'm going to put silver ones. And I'm going to put them one on each side. And push that down on that bead. I'm going to put one on each side of that bead. Bead caps come in all different sizes and shapes to fit your to fit your um, bead. Now this this bead is kind of like an egg shape, so this works on it perfectly. But this works on this here particular bead cap works on most anything because it spreads open if you need it open. There's different kinds of bead caps that are just small and whatnot. Okay, now, okay, now that I have that one on there, that one's going to live there, but then I want to have a bead on either side. And I've got these beautiful beads right here. They're so pretty. They're so swirly. I love them. Well, here's some that are like a crack. They look like cracked glass. And then I have some that are more like marbled. I think I'm going to take 
some of the marbled looking ones. Which ones do I want? I want these two. Okay, so I'm going to use those two. And I'm going to think I'm going to put a, a bead cap there too. But I think I'm first. Oh, Susan, you're getting ready for the hurricane. You must be in Texas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I saw that on the news where, okay, I'm reaching up here for my, um, my a couple of spacer beads here. Okay. Now spacer beads are just like, let me see here. Spacer beads are just little bitty beads that go, and they're usually metal, but spacer beads can be almost anything. I'm going to put that in just, just, just a little bit of space. Um, and then I'm going to take, put that little spacer bead there. Then I'm going to take this little bead. Oh, I'm going to get another bead cap, but I'm going to get a little one. These are little bitsy, teensy, weensy, tiny, little. Let me see. I'm going to. Gosh, we've had some bad hurricanes here in Florida, but we have not had them in years. We have been just really lucky that we haven't had them. Oh, no, I don't want that spacer bead in there. I just changed my mind on that one. That makes too much of a clump. So I'm just going to put a bead cap and then this marbly bead and then another bead cap. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's good. And so then I get my other marbly bead. And I'll put this and this marbly bead. And hopefully I'm in frame here still. I think I'm pretty good. As long as I stay right here in this area, I won't lose my place in line at the lunch table. I never like to lose my place in line when we're going to lunch. I'm not really going to lunch because it's quite early here. Well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, so it's not that early. So see now, this is my focal point for my bracelet, okay? Now I'm going to, that's the focal bead. Let me see. You know what, girls and boys and whatever? I'm taking, I decided this is when you go into something with no plan and you're nervous because it's your first live video. I took that bead cap off of the big one. And I am going to just put smaller bead caps. Let me look at this and see if this, if this makes me happy right here. Then the whole world will be happy. Let's see if I like that better. Um, yeah, I think I like that better. And so this, oh, thank you, Lisa. I'll try not to be nervous. Okay, no, that one would be too big. So I'm not going to use that one. I am just going to use these two little bead caps and these bead caps are like so cheap i didn't realize that they were so cheap and so um and you can get like this your little box that i have of bead caps i don't know there's like a jillion in there and it was like five bucks so five bucks i can afford five bucks now and then all the other stuff I pretty much just had around the house already. Well, I've been doing crafts like since I was near about knee high to a grasshopper. And so in all that time, 
I have collected stuff. And I have stuff. Okay, now. Now that that's better. I think the bead cap on but that bead looks a little crooked. I wonder if the whole you know what? It's not gonna matter if it's a little crooked. That'll just because we can't <laughs> oh how lovely now okay now i'm going to take and make it into the circle shape so i'll keep those in the center and and then i'm going to go and just take the two i gotta move my bottle of water it's in my way now i'm gonna just kind of over just twist each one within the next one see so it's just like you just kind of put it together like this now this one is probably good this one will be too small for me so i'll have to send this to somebody with a little wrist you see how wiggly my wire looks that doesn't matter that doesn't matter okay so the next thing i do now i'm using I'm using, um, this is some kind of medical tape, Durapur 3M, but you can use, I hate to tell you that my daughter's a thief, but if she, she's a nurse and she sometimes comes home with a half a roll of tape in her pocket and, um, and she just gives it to me. And so I have this tape, so I have like three rolls of it. Actually, my husband had one in his first aid kit. Well, he doesn't anymore because I had to have it. Now, I start wrapping this tape around, around <clears throat> the, around the, The, um, the wire, the wire. Mm -hmm. And and it won't look like perfect. It's not going to look perfect. It's going to just look wrapped. But what it does, it gives more of a foundation for when I start wrapping the fabrics. See, because I'll first after i get this on here see now that went over where then that went over where the two pieces of wire were um were held together were were, were hooked together and so there my um my daughter's not a thief she's a good nurse but anyway okay here now, see, I need just a wee tiny, weensy bit more. Oh, about this much. I painted my fingernails special because I knew I was going to be um, a Hollywood star. But I didn't paint my fingernails real good because I can't, I, you know, I just don't like dry time. And it makes me nervous. So I'm a very last frazzled nerve. And so I started doing things before my nails were done drying. And so they're all chipped up. That's pretty funny. And and I got polish on my skin. I don't know why I waste my time. <laughs> when I was working, I used to go ever two weeks and had my nails professionally done, you know, because I don't know what I was trying to prove with that, but I did. I went and had my nails professionally done every two weeks. Okay, now oops, I need one more little tiny teensy weensy teensy weensy. She wore an activity yellow polka dot bikini. Okay, now I need just a little bit, a wee little bit more here because I want it to hold those beads where they belong to be. Okay, so now I just have the whole thing just wrapped in tape. You can use any kind of tape. Masking tape, scotch tape, electrical tape, duct tape. 
any kind of tape. Um, <laughs> yes, Kim, I started going live right after I did my last video because I don't know why. I just wanted to. Okay, so there, there we go. Yeah, she said she was watching my other video I just put up. Okay, now, now is when I need, oh, where did I put my fabric? Okay, let's see. They're in here. I think they are in here. Yeah, I, I had a, I went to the Walmart yesterday, or the day before, or the day before that, and they had, oh, there's my fabric. That's me. But they had these yarns in the clearance thing. Look at this fuzzy stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's so soft. But it was in clearance, and it was two bucks. And the regular price was like five bucks. But look at that. I got that. And then I got this is gray. It's like a gray color. Looks like my cat's tail. Why well, don't I have a cat? And then I got I got this is kind of like a coral color. Look at this stuff. What am I gonna do with this? If anybody's got any ideas, I just I just loved it. So I had to buy it $2 a skein. What do you think about that? Oh, and then this color. Look at this. It's kind of a greenish, like a, um, they call it smoke. That don't look like smoke. But look how pretty that is, kind of like a teal. But it is so soft. It's like, it's like eyelash trim on steroids. God, I love this stuff. And I just bought it. Don't go in here. Then I got this here roll too. And I thought, well, that looks nice. Well, all I seen of it was this, you know, just kind of a trim. And I thought, well, all that would be nice. But then when I got it home, I noticed that you can look at look at what it really is. It opens up like this. Now, is that bohemian looking or what? Isn't that pretty? I don't know what I'll do with that either, but I bought it. I bought that stuff. Then this green one. This is the last one. I'm just just happened to see it. But see, now this too. Just I thought it was just like just a trim, and I thought I will like that. And but it also is like it's got a trim like on one side, but then it opens up like a net. I could go fishing with that doggone booger. Okay, so let me shove these back in my bag because this is not what I was supposed to be doing. See, I'm a real eclectic and kind of a, you know, sort of a, I don't know what I am. I don't know. Oh, that is something. Yes, it is, Kim. It is. Um, morning glories love the yarn. Use down the spine of a journal. Perfect. Yes, it would be. I would be, that would be perfect, Virginia. Using it down the spine of a journal. That would be so pretty. Okay, now, the next step of my, of my bracelet is, is I use strips of fabric. Now, and I like to use just different colors, whatever. This is like a fall print, and I just tore strips. And, and so it's like a fall print, but you'll never see that it's a fall print after it's on. Okay, I might need two pieces. Well, they're never not here. But I just um, popped it. Oh, this is a longer one, I think. But anyhow, I just, I just, um, you know, just rip them, just tear them, the strips. Like these here strips that I have, like this. That was just white fabric from a sheet that I tore apart, and I colored it. I this one, I just had mixed some acrylic paint with water and just put it in a bottle and then just dripped it all over the fabric. And then I took the right fabric and wrinkled it all up so the color went so there was no white showing. And then I dried that and then just ripped it in strips, and that makes nice. That, that even, so if you don't have, like, fabric, it, just tear up one of your sheets or your pillowcases or something like that, and that'll work just fine. Your husband, you know, I bet your husband's got some white shirt, shirts or maybe the neighbor's husband. 
probably has some maybe the mailman's got a mask and but um and then if you've got like a white shirt or something even and you can dye it to any color but now the next step here is i'm going to wrap this fabric and the fabric now will cover the tape so let me get a decent i need a decent bottle of glue my um oh here we go with this this will be fine i don't i gotta work on my i don't know why my aileen's tacky glue well this is tacky glue too but this is clear but my other one's got like a block in it because i forgot to put forgot to put the lid on that's just how i am that's how i are kansas city star now i'm going to start i put a little bit of glue right there that's all i don't put much glue on these bracelets most everything is like tied together so but i do put glue right there at that beginning and then i start wrapping well see i'm even wrapping this wait a minute I, that'll bother me i started wrapping it with the wrong side out and i don't want to do that although it really probably wouldn't matter okay now now we'll get along little doggy with this here wrapping wrapping you ever listen to rapping music it's like um i love to play like rap music when i'm cleaning but it's something because i can listen to the beat of it and it just is energetic but i don't listen to the words like i was cleaning one day my daughter called me, she goes what are you listening to i said music she goes had you listened to the words to that i said well no i haven't and so then I listened to some of the words and I thought, holy smokes, I didn't even know I was listening to them. But I wasn't hearing the words, I was just hearing the beat. And, and it was giving me energy so I could clean because oh, I don't have cleaning energy. I have crafting energy 24 7, but I don't have that cleaning energy. This morning I mopped my kitchen floor and Oh, that took all the all the energy I had for the whole day. And so now let's see. Now see this is wrapped. See how that's wrapping right around that the tape. And because now some some videos you'll see from other people only wrap the end where they put the put the attach the wire together. Well, I kind of feel like wrapping the whole thing with wire gives you, I mean, wrap the whole wire with tape. I hope you can read between my lines because I say the wrong words a lot of the time. I call the microwave the refrigerator and then it's terrible. But anyhow, it's okay. People are used to it. The people that hang around here, which is like my family, they're pretty much used to it. They tune me out. My husband kind of tunes me out really well. Yep. So anyhow, there we go. Now look at that. That went all the way around. That went all the way around. So now... I'm going to put just another little dab, just a little drop of glue. And you don't need much. I don't like to use a lot of glue with my fabrics because I'd rather it be more organically, whatever. I guess, whatever. Now, I'll snip that off. There's, that's for another one. Now, I have the beads on. I did the elastic, I did the wire i did the beads and i did the tape and then the fabric all right so that's a beginning now that's pretty just in itself right there but now we've got to go with some more we need more we always need more sometimes people say um 
<laughs> Kim says it. Kim says then you can bop along without worrying about filling up the square jar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do. I do. I have a cuss jar at my house, but it stays empty, even though. Now, my husband and my son, my son's 32, 30, yeah, 32. I think he's 32. He's my baby child. And he and my husband, they use this language sometimes. They use this language that's really unacceptable. And so I tell them that they need to um, put a dollar, I mean a quarter in the in the cuss jar. It, why can't I find my stuff? Let me see. I'm looking for something. Oh, here it is. I want this. This is this is what I want right here. So I tell them that they really need to put a quarter in a cuss jar every time. And they always tell me just to put it on the tab. <laughs> One time my son, he stopped by here after work. And um, you could tell he was in kind of a mood. And so, so I got this little teeny Rick Rack. Now I will go from half a sentence to half a sentence. Please don't. Don't hold that against me. But I'm now I'm taking this, this little teeny pink Rick Rack. It's been in my stuff like forever. But anyway, Billy stopped by here after work and I said, Well, how'd your day go? And um he reached in his pocket and he pulled out two dollars. And he gave me two dollars. I said, would you make a two dollar tip? He goes, nope. I'm going to tell you how my day went, but I'm paying you in advance. There's going to be at least eight cusses in this one. <laughs> I'm telling you, my kids. What did I just do? Do you see how my mind is? It's gone. And um, I did I put glue on there? No. Okay, so I'll just put glue on that very end of that one, too. And where'd I put that glue? Right there. Now, I'm going to wrap that around there. I've almost covered up that little bead cap. That's okay. I don't mind. And so, yeah, so then he commences. I, I knew then that he must have didn't have a good day at work. He's an electrician. And sometimes he has to work on pools, like new, new swimming pools. They put electric stuff to them. You like them being, you know, with them concrete cement ponds or whatever they are we live in florida so yeah people's got to have them you think they just go to the beach but no they got to have that pool but anyway we don't have a pool we go to the ymca if we want to but anyway yeah he had a bad day so he had two dollars worth of cusses coming so yeah in some of the cuss words that i call cuss cusses they might not really be cusses they might just be regular words, but I'm pretty particular because I'm the one collecting the quarters. So, yeah, I'm pretty particular. So, <laughs> if my son and hubby put 50p in this swear jar, I would have enough money to, in a month. To come over to the USA in person. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's my dad. See, my dad, he I think he cussed. I'm not sure. Because the thing, my dad, he was he was um my dad was Finnish, you know, so he did a lot of Finnish speaking. And um and whenever he would get angry or frustrated with something, he would say these Finnish words and I never knew what they meant you know I just knew he said them when he was angry so one time I asked my uncle I said what does this mean and I said whatever it was my dad was saying he goes oh, Lizzie Beth don't you ever say that again so that's when I figured okay that must not be a good word to use okay so now I now I wrap that pink I wrap that pink rick rack around. It doesn't really even match the fall colors that's under there, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't mind. We're not going to get all upset over that. Now, oops, I got another. Oh, my chair gets stuck. Yeah. 
had here. Okay, here I have more. Then see, you just use whatever, whatever kind of fibers that you have, like this. I like this. I'm gonna use some of this one. Ratchet. This is actually like eyelash plus some kind of pom poms too together. So this is pretty too. It's like an eyelash. Somebody sent that to me. I have some people that just send me the coolest stuff. I don't think I'm worthy, but hey, if they want to send it to me, I'll use it. I just very appreciative. Now this, okay, I'm gonna now I'm gonna use this. Now see, this is gonna add even more color. But I'm gonna tie this one on. This one, I'm just going to tie it. I'm going to just tie it. Okay. Now, let me see. This doesn't show me. It doesn't tell me the number of people that might be out there actually listening to me rattle on about nothing. Okay. Now, now I just tied that one on the end. So I just tied it. I hope the lighting is okay on this because when I look back at my computer screen, it kind of looks kind of dark. But oops. Now I tied that, but I really should have tied it closer to the bead. Can I untie it? I'm going to cut it. There we go. Now, get that off of there. Okay. Start over from scratch. Okay, I want to tie it closer to the bead. To that little bead. To the little bead, it's got to be closer. Okay, now. I'm going to leave a little end as I tie here. Let me see. You have to excuse my chubby old fingers. And I told you before, this is my farmer hands. That's because I was born on a farm, not actually on the farm, but um, I was born at a mother, a mothering, I don't know what they called it, obstetrical something in Cloquet, Minnesota. That's where I was, Cloquet, Minnesota. But I lived in Esco, Minnesota. Esco was a Finnish community. Everybody there was Finnish. Well, most everybody. I bet 99% of the people there were Finnish. So you just heard people speak in Finnish or cussing Finnish. I don't know, but it was in Finnish. You heard them. You heard. You heard them all the time. But that's where I was born. And but we had a farm, and we milked cows. I was milking cows when I was like seven. I was an expert. I could drive the tractor. Now, how about that? And um, But we just thought that was like normal stuff. Oh, 17 people watching. Okay, Susan. Yeah, thanks. Wow. I don't speak much Finnish, Lizzie. I think I can count to 10. Uno. No, that's Spanish. That's counting to 10 in Finnish. I think I got that pretty close. I know a few words, you know, but I really never learned to speak it. I kind of wish I did, but I didn't. I, I wish I did now, though, but I didn't. Okay, now I... I got that all nice and wrapped around. I love eyelash trim. It just is so nice. Um, well done. You mean my counting was well done? I hope so. I think I'm pretty close. And then you go oxtoista, oxtoista, gudamadoista. Yeah, that's for the, the teens, I think. I think I can count to 19. All right, now. Okay, there. Now, see, and I just tied that when I got to the end. Rather than glue it, I just tied it. But then, 
you can now just okay i'm gonna cut that end off there i don't need that piece right there okay now i was gonna leave it there in case i want to tie something to it but see now that's all of that right there now i can now i can put something else on there let me see just a minute i'm gonna get get something i gotta stand up to reach into my junk box now here oh wait a minute i need to drink my water okay we don't want to talk to them now i'm going to use this i got this is like a quarter inch ribbon it might even be less than that what is it 3.5 mimins. I don't know how. I don't know how wide it is. It's about a quarter inch, but it actually almost looks like less than a quarter inch. But it's gold and it sparkles. And so I am going to now put put this on here. And, I, and I'll go up by that bead and I'll tie that. Um, aw, alrighty then, Hedgewitch Hollow, she's already made a couple for Christmas presents for her granddaughter, for my daughters, okay, so now I put that on there, now I'm going to wrap this, and see, now sometimes I just go this way around, but now this time I'm going to go this way around. And it kind of crisscrosses, you know. And so then this puts another little bit of, of sparkle. This puts another little bit of sparkle in here. And um, because, you know, we like sparkle. Sparkle is very important in our lives because who wants to have a boring anything so we're going to just go with sparkle here okay now i can't tie that so i'm going to have to put a little bit of eileen she's going to have to help me with this one and i'm going to just put that around like this and then I'll just cut that very end off of there. And that'll be fine. Put my lid on there so my glue doesn't dry up like my other one did. Okay, now. Oh, 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 that didn't work. It came a loose. It came a loose. I got to go back around here to where that glue is. And I got to fix that. I got to, maybe I got to hold it on there for a couple of seconds maybe i need to make my blob of glue just a little bit bigger you know what it's hard to do is to um lizzie it's me nikki call me nikki okay all right i couldn't remember that i gotta have to write me some notes to who really is who okay nikki nikki is making them for her daughters see she told me that before but so many people have you know they got you know they got real names but then they got stage names too and um like see actually i'm scrapping lizzie is my stage name but i didn't think to put me in as scrapping lizzie so i'm just me i just call myself you know you i don't care what you call me really you can just call me don't call me late for dinner that's not good Okay, I'm going to put this little clip on here. Let me see. I'm going to put this little clip on. You know, I can't believe my first live show actually has people watching it. Well, darn it. That won't hold that. So, we will just hold this little glue dry. See you in the morning. Not really. That's... Oh, you know what I'll do? Hmm, this is what I'll do. I'm going to take a piece of this upholstery thread. This will work. If all else fails, 
that's not long enough. I can't get a knot in that. Okay. I like to have upholstery here. That works for stuff. Now, geez, what am I doing here? My mind, is, oh, now I cut a really long piece. And so I'm going to tie that little piece of upholstery thread around there. You'll never see it in a million years. I'm going to tie that to hold my ribbon. And then by the time the glue dries and everything, you won't even be able to see this here, upholstery thread. But that will hold that ribbon from escaping because we don't like escape driven it's not good well, I wonder if it's going to rain today we've been having rain almost like every day yes last night we had a storm to end all storms boy that thing scared me we had lightning that thunder that was so loud it shook the house okay now I put around the tape first, then I put the fabric around, then I put the golden, oh no, then I put the eyelash trim stuff around, and then I put the golden ribbon around. But then, then I always like, you know, I'm the one that says, uh, some people say that less is more, but you know me, I'm not, oh, there's my needle. I wonder what you did with this. This one here is too long, but this is what I want. So I'm going to take, I'm going to cut this. Okay, so I'm going to cut this, right? Because this is about how long I want it. No, I want it about this long. Okay, I measure it just a little bit bigger. If you can see, I I already strung this little piece, these little beads here, and on each end I put a charm. But it's too long, so I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut this wire right here. And then I put them beads in that bowl or on the floor, wherever they went. And then I'll take my needle nose pliers. And I will just take and make like a ring around here. Oh, Lisa is so happy that I am live. I'm glad I'm alive too, right? Better than being dead. But I, I know it. I, I've been working on trying to figure this out. And I couldn't, just couldn't figure it out. And my husband even worked on it like for two days. And um, bless his little heart. And, um, and, and he couldn't figure it out. And then, you know who helped me out? Stacy, the pink poodle crafter, she left me a message and she says, call me, I'll walk you through it. And my word, she did. She walked me right through it where I got completely, I completely figured it out. I completely figured out how to do a live stream. And, um, and it wasn't as hard as YouTube made it sound to be. It wasn't that hard. YouTube made made it sound like you had to be like a rocket scientist to be able to do that. Okay, see, this is the charm that I already had on the end of that, and my and the um and the um jump ring. So I'm just going to put it on. The, and now, see, I sure so I shortened it. So this will fit. Now, this might be my last step. I hope when this is over, I can go back and read all these comments. 
You hear that? My dogs are commenting. I have four mini dachshunds. They think they're pit bulls. I hate to tell. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie this on also with this upholstery thread. This upholstery thread, or you can use if you don't have that either, some kind of string or um, like embroidery floss or something. And I'm going to tie that also. I'm going to tie that also right up against that first bead. And I'm going to tie that in a good tight knot right up against the first bead. Now, Oliver's the one that barks the most. Now, the other ones, will, there's four of those little buggers. There's Oliver and Zoe, who are brother and sister. And then there's, then there's Sammy. Sammy's the littlest one. She's deaf now, but she's 16 and a half years old. And um, that's Sammy. And then there is Bernie. Bernie, he thinks, he, he really does think he's a Rhodesian Ridgeback or something. But um, they all think they're really bad to the bone. They think they're bad to the bone. They just sit here and bark. Yeah, but anyway. Now, see, I tied that end right there of my beaded wire here. You could also bead this just on, on beading thread, on upholstery thread. You could bead that as well on there. But I have this beaded on wire. I might actually start beading this part on upholstery thread. Upholstery thread or, because upholstery thread is very, very strong. You could probably pull a Mack truck with a Volkswagen We're using that thread. Okay, see now? Now, because it was too long, this time it worked out perfect. So now it went, I twisted it all the way around. It's just like, like just spiraling it, just spiraling it all the way around. So now I'm going to, again, get me a little piece of, of string of my upholstery thread. And, and if you have, like, um, if you have, like, some embroidery floss or something, you know, that would work, too. Regular thread, not so much, because, you know, regular sewing thread, that might be, yeah, I wouldn't suggest that, because that would probably break, and your beads will go flying all over the restaurant. And, um, now, okay, let me see, okay, I was trying to get it through the, the homemade little knot, but it, it was giving me a hard time, so I'll just put it through the zip, the, um, yeah, right there. I'll just put it right through the, the, um, jump ring. Okay, now, see, I know you can't see anything but my big fat old hands. I wish I could put my hands on a diet or hand exercises or something, but I've always had big hands. I've always had big hands and big wrists, big my ankles ain't all that big. Well, yeah, so maybe they are. Maybe I'm just in denial. But I'm big everywhere, actually. But I'm a big girl, strong like a bull. I have always been, like, really, really strong. I have a piano. I have had that piano in every room of this house just about because I move it from here to there. And I've always done it just right by myself. Because I am strong like a bird. So I'm going to put this hand up. I could just do one-handed things. Now I think I finished this. Okay, this is not hanging right. I might have to retie that. Okay, so there we go. This is it. This is what I wanted to show you. Okay. Hmm. I see people are talking, and I think that's great. And but you know, I haven't been checking. I I can't see too well on the um on my phone the um live chat. But anyhow, I am so glad you guys came. I am 
with no warning or anything and you still came no invitations you still came to the party but see there now this is a small one and um that won't fit on my wrist that would fit on like on a normal person's wrist because this one is let me see oh i don't have my all my tape measures in the sewing room okay so anyhow i don't know how round this one is but it's for a smaller wrist i'm thinking i have to measure these things because like i said earlier in the video i made this morning is that i'm thinking about starting like a little um etsy store only because i'm getting so many things because i make things and then i just make more things and so but I could probably put like a bracelet like this and sell it for five bucks. You think anybody can give me five bucks for that? Three bucks? I don't know. And so, but people might do that. But I make other things too. Well, I sell my lace and that sells just by word of mouth and stuff. So I'd put my lace on there first. But um, yeah, I gotta fix that. I don't want that to just stick up like this. But okay, so I started with wire wrapped around oh hi honey bunny good morning my honey didn't sleep the night before last so now here he slept till 10 41 and so but he's awake now so i'm glad he got some sleep because i don't like him to go without sleep okay so now the difference is is i put those beads on there for like a focal point on the bracelet then i wrap the whole thing with the tape then I wrap the whole thing with the fabric, which you can see the fabric poking through a little bit, not much. And then I went around with that pink um, rickrack, and you can see that just poking through here and there. Then I went around it with the eyelash kind of trim. And I went around it with that. And that's why we have all these little strings poking out. And I love that. Then we went around with the gold ribbon. And the gold ribbon gave that that sparkle. And then lastly, we went around with that string of beads. And so that is, it. I love it. I love something like this. This is my style. Oh, and then we've got the two little charms that are on there. I'm going to fix this key so it hangs better. But um, but I like it with the bead, with the focal point, with that, with the beads. Like this one here that I'm wearing. I got beads, like, all the way around it that are a little bit larger. And I have some charms on this one as well with the beads, beaded wire. And then I have some other beaded wire around this one and some purple lace because I'm the purple lover. People are pur purple people eater. But that's what I wanted to show you. I wanted, I first just really wanted. Something went, something went haywire. Wait a minute, where's my little, oh no, there, am I back again? Did I leave? I think I left for a minute and now I'm back because my, my, let me see what it says here. She's trying to come back. Oh yeah, I must have left. Oh no, we lost her. Oh, did, okay, I'm showing that I'm back on the computer. 
And so we got audio only. I can hear but not see you. She's in the voice. Okay, for some reason, for some reason, it is showing, I am showing, I can see myself on the computer, but I don't see myself on the phone. And so, okay, well, I'm, you know what, I was just, okay, I was just going to, I'm glad you can hear me anyway, and because I was just going to say goodbye, and I love you, and I thank God that I have all you guys as my friends. And so I'm going to let you go now, and thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll be making more of these little videos one day. So, okay, bye-bye.